Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 16 of Book 3, which states that if we have a circle, in this case I didn't draw the whole circle so I could have a larger diagram, but if we have a circle with a diam diameter of AB, and if we have another line, EA, such that EA is perpendicular to AD, then 1. The line EA falls outside of the circle. In other words, it does not cross the circumference. 2. There is no other line that can be squeezed between the line EA and the circumference. In other words, we cannot draw a line like this dotted line without crossing either the circumference or the line EA. And finally, the angle between the diameter and the circumference, so between AD and this red line, cannot be less than a right angle, and the angle between EA and the circumference cannot be greater than zero. So let's start with the first part of this proposition, that the line AE falls outside of the circle. We're going to prove this by the method of contradiction. So let us assume that having drawn our line AC perpendicular to DA, in other words, that alpha is a right angle, that it intersects the circle at point C. We'll connect our lines CD and look at this resulting triangle. Now, CD is equal to AD because they're right out of the same circle. Hence, it's an isosceles triangle. And as an isosceles triangle, these two angles are equal. Now the angle at A is a right angle, so consequently the angle at C is also a right angle. If we sum these two angles up together, they are equal to two right angles, or 180 degrees. But according to Proposition 17 of Book 1, the sum of any two angles in a triangle has to be less than two right angles. So the sum of these two must be less than two right angles but we've already said that it was two right angles. So it cannot be equal to two right angles and less than two right angles simultaneously, and hence there is our contradiction. Having obtained the contradiction, we have proven that the line that is perpendicular to our diameter must fall outside of the circle. Continuing on with the second part of this proof, we are stating that we cannot squeeze a line in between EA and the circumference of the circle. So let's assume that we can, and we'll prove again by contradiction. So let's assume that we have a line FA that makes an angle beta that is less than 90 degrees. We will now draw a line from D such that it is perpendicular to FA and meeting at the point G. So here we have alpha, and by construction, it is a right angle. So alpha is a right angle. Now, since alpha is a right angle, and we've already stated that beta is less than a right angle, we have alpha is greater than beta. And from Proposition 19 of Book 1, in a triangle, the larger side is opposite the larger angle. So AD is opposite alpha, which is the larger angle than beta, which is opposite ADG. AD has to be larger than DG because alpha is greater than beta. Well, now look, let's look at our line DG. Well, since it falls outside of the circle, we will label the point where it crosses the circle as H. Now, DG is greater than DH. But DH is equal to DA because they are both radii, radii of the same circle. So we have that DG is greater than DA. But we've already said that DA was greater than DG, and here we're saying DG is greater than DA. These cannot both be simultaneously true, and hence we have our contradiction. Having obtained our contradiction, we have again proven that there's no line that can squeeze between EA and the circumference of our circle. 
And finally, our third uh, part of this proposition, which states that the angle between dA and the circumference of the circle cannot be less than 90 degrees, and between EA and the circumference cannot be more than zero. So just a moment. I'm going to redraw this diagram. since we are going to do this by the method of contradiction. So here we are going to assume that dA is our diameter, radius actually, it's AB that is our diameter, and the angle between dA and the circumference is alpha, and it's less than a right angle. The angle between E and A is beta, and it's greater than zero. If this were possible, then the line, this gray line, the tangent, could be squeezed between EA and the circumference. But we've already established from the previous or the part two of this proposition that this is not doable. So hence our contradiction, and hence we cannot have an alpha that is less than a right angle or a beta that is greater than zero. Putting this all back together again, All right, here I'm summarizing again what was in the proposition. EA is perpendicular to DA. EA falls outside of the circle. There is no other line that can squeeze between the circle and EA. And this angle has to be 90 degrees. From these three propositions that we have just demonstrated, you can sum them up and express it a different way, which is that a straight line drawn at right angles to the diameter of a circle from one of its endpoints, touches the circle. So in other words, EA touches our circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.